this exhibition bout between these two young girls has been a topic of discussion amongst our team for the last few weeks. Uh, Tanzila, who oozes with self-confidence, carries on her shoulders the legacy of the Ali family. She is busy making a name for herself in the amateur division. Laite, on the other hand, a soft-spoken, sprouting female boxing talent, okay, is the daughter of the renowned is, uh, Laite Nonovu. She fights out of... Uh, our first bout up is Laite Nonovu. She fights out of Boxing Brave. Um, she's a young student. And I think she's making her way to the ring now. There's a two young, uh, there's a two young athletes. I can imagine this is the first time amateur fighters are getting this in Fiji. They look very excited, ready to go. They look like they're ready to go. You, um, I've, I've had the opportunity to uh, to shoot and interview Tanzila. She's oozing with self-confidence. She, uh, she comes from a big family, a fighting family. Her uncles, her fathers, her family, they're all boxers. And they've done, uh, uh, um, they've done a lot for boxing in Fiji over the years. So you can see she's, she's got so much, um, so much confidence oozing out of her. That's beautiful. It's really great thing to have confidence at such a young age. On the other hand, Light there yeah. is very skillful. She's got a lot of skills. Her dad, as you can see, flanking her on her left, yep. is the, the great uh, coach Osea Nanovu from Boxing Brave. He's trained a lot of champions. Um, he's a dedicated coach, and I think this, yeah, this is his, uh, his uh, not his daughter, actually. Um, he, he took on the father role figure after yep. her dad. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but like I, I read up that um, he's now the father figure. Leite Nanovu, uh, she's a young girl from Gospel High School. That's a prominent high school in Suva. Ah, she's really, really, really enjoying the, the atmosphere, I can tell. Women, women boxing in Fiji is, is still at its uh, young age. Yeah. Um, we don't really have much competition for women, so this is very good. And it's a good, a good um, atmosphere and a good platform for these girls. Now this is Tanzila Raza. Um, leading her out is her, her cousin, Nikesh. He's fighting also on the card. She is the daughter of uh, Junior Farazan. He's a very great boxer in Fiji. Tanzila saying a little prayer just before she uh, gets down to business. Ella, what about you? During the amateur days, uh, do you, how do you pri pri uh, prime yourself up just before a fight? Do you look at your opponent? Do you? Uh, are you, or are you just jumping and ready to go? <laughs> in my amateur days, I used to hype myself up a lot. Um, as I've grown older, I do a lot of um, breath work, um, which uh, keeps me calm and gets me a bit more focused and centered. So, amazing, so, yeah. amazing. <laughs> These young girls are really vying for a spot. If we do happen to have uh, to take up uh, women in the uh, national teams, we have a lot of uh, young amateur girls coming up, mm -hmm. and these are just two. And it's really encouraging to see the young the young girls, the young kids, getting involved in boxing at such a young mm -hmm. age in Fiji. Um, it never really did used to happen. Boxing usually uh, people take up boxing at a later age most mm. of the time when they're around 17, 18, yeah. 19. This is the future of boxing here, ladies and gentlemen. And as Winston Hill, uh, who is also the co-promoter of this event, stated, having the amateurs come out to, a new, to an event such as this mm -hmm. 
prepares them for overseas um, uh, exposure. Yes. Most of the time, people from Fiji go overseas and they have the big lights. Mm. It's blinding. Uh, they get so anxious. They get nervous. Yeah. They don't perform well. Yeah. So this is sort of like a, a chance for them to to prepare for Experience. an overseas event. Experience. Yeah. Yes. Here we go, round one kicking off. Very interesting to see the different styles that the, the, the different styles of the family fight. Mm -hmm. Tanzilla with that awkward um, check hook. Yep. Yep. Lots of movement from Tanzilla. Tanjila seems very calm in the ring. Uh, Laita is usually always aggressive and always active in the, from round one to round three. Um, let's see if she can close the uh, distance and get... Mm. Trying to figure each other out, I guess, yeah. the first round. Also for amateur division, one thing that's very important to note is that we need to teach our young kids about scoring points yeah. scoring points from the moment the bell rings <laughs> both very relaxed both very relaxed late seems to be holding a bit of the center of the center of the ring a bit more Yep, oh. that's good. She's controlling the center. There you go. Nice right hand. Uh, both of them uh, have a low guard, keeping their hand always down. Mm. And uh, could be interesting as they get uh, to the second round. Mm. They're both staying at that long range, aren't they? They are staying at the long range. I like how Leite is still controlling the center ring. Does make her look like the aggressor. Mm, definitely. So Ella, in a situation like this, what's, what's more, more, more important to you, like after, for example, a round that just finished like this? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure about your, your personal background and your training, but mm -hmm. do, do you always know that you've got more in the tank for round two and round three? Oh, definitely, yes. Um, I know if that first round was close, then you've definitely got to um, pick it up on the second and third round and make sure you've secured your win for the um, third bout. So um, I think there might be a little bit more work in this next round um, as they get a bit hungrier to win. Yep, most but definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. I think uh, round one, they managed to uh, round two. size each other up. Mm. I think they know a little bit about more, a little bit more about each other. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, a little bit of ice on the uh, uh, on the canvas. On the canvas, right out you go. Okay, straight into round two. I'm still stoked at the look of this. Just looking at this on the monitor. Now Tanzilla is controlling the center of the center of the ring. Mm. She's swinging with all. Nice footwork That's from uh, Tenzilla. He's not scoring points though. Both of them are not really uh, capitalizing. Mm. Nice job. Nice job. Straight, straight down the barrel. You can see the determination in both the girls' eyes. Oh yeah.
Godzilla definitely has that uh, stunge that her uncle has. She's got some beautiful footwork. Yep. Moving nicely in the ring. You tend to understand how she has that uh, confidence oozing because she's, mm. she's confident in her, in her style, she's confident in her in her defense, in her attack. And she doesn't seem to be panicking in there, which mm. is good. Ten seconds left. Both girls jab. Nice head movement. Steering clear all those wild swings from uh, Tanzilla. Lighted did a good job. Nice. This is going to be a pretty difficult one to score. Yeah, definitely. That was a really good <laughs> end of the round. Definitely. It was great. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give the ball box a big round of applause as they head into the third round. We're heading into the third and final round. Uh, I'm just so happy that these young uh, women uh, part of this program mm. it's really good uh, it will be a stepping stone for other young girls to see this mm -hmm. on national TV and uh, try their hand out in actually making it to the to the next next stage which is like a promotion like this yeah. or the up-and-coming promotions that other promoters are bringing yeah such a great experience for these girls at such a young age to be on such a oh, great yes. card um, they're only gonna get better from here so yes. it's really exciting for them Replay just uh, showed uh, Lighter getting just just catching a little bit of that uh, left hook, check hook from Tanzilla. Small little flurry towards the end of the round. Last and final round. They're both fighting for the center of the ring. Nice right hand. Nice right hand by nice. Tanzilla. <laughs> Leading with a jab is uh, right there. Throws one straight to, to the body, misses. I'm just, I'm just impressed with how calm and collected Tanzila is. Um, she's not panicking in, in, in the pocket. Very relaxed. She's throwing from far out wide. Uh, she's throwing straight jabs. She's throwing straight, straight hooks. She's got a lot of range on her arm. She's she does have a lot of range. Very long. Yeah. There she goes. She found a target again. And again. Ah. She's got a brilliant check hook. Crowd loves it. Like they says, bring it on. Let me remind you, um, Ella, Suva has been waiting for an opportunity like this to host, to have boxing in the capital city of Suva. Mm -hmm. It's been a long while, and uh, hence the name Homecoming. So great. Light is trying to get her into the corner, but she's not capitalizing on it. She knows now it's 10 seconds is up, 10 seconds left. Now they're trying to outscore each other. That's a nice movement. Nice. Well done, ladies. All the build up. Thank you very much, ladies. Let's give the All Thank the photography guys. sessions. Thank you so much. Thank All the marketing. Guys. Finally over. Yeah. Finally over, and um, these two young girls can just tap themselves on the on the back and just you know, they've done a great job. Uh, yes, uh, I mean performing in front of such uh, in front of a crowd like this. Woo. Well done, ladies. Tanjila does have a lengthy throw, eh? and she caught, she's catching her with the check hooks all the time while moving forward. There you go. Just 
some great um, punch flurries thrown there. Some good movement too. <laughs> this would be very interesting. I, I, mm. I still, I, I, would, I would call this a draw. I, I it was very tough to score, I think. Very tough to score. This would be very hard, hard to swallow whoever's going to take the loss. Oh, it's an, oh, it's an exhibition bout. Sorry. Oh. Yes. Well, I called it. I called it. It was a draw. 